Hello everyone, welcome again. In this software testing tutorial, we are going to understand what is decision table testing or also known as cause effect table. Now, uh, decision table testing or cause effect table is uh, the uh, software test design technique in black box testing that you utilize if you have, say for example, uh, multiple uh, you know, outcome or the outcome is based on multiple conditions that are required to test and if this is you know very useful in terms of you know business rule testing say for example so if you want to test like in previous examples of equivalence partitioning and boundary value analysis we have uh, you know tested uh, the boundary values or partitions of say for example one rule okay so discount now if this discount rule that is there or discount percentage is added or it it uh, when when added with some other components say for example discount percentage of an existing user discount percentage of a new user who registers then that uh, technique becomes you know a bit tricky to test and that's where decision table testing comes in picture so when you have to add multiple rules and come up with the scenarios to test we need to go ahead with the decision table testing so i'll explain decision table testing in very simple terms so that you can correlate the same example with any of the scenarios that you can test in uh, any of the application right so now say for example there is a website which uh, has the registration functionality and you need the name email and address to register on that particular website okay and now you are a software tester on that particular website and you want to test so the outcome or basically the error message or success message of the registration depends on these three inputs okay now let's say for example i have name so registration portal has name then we have email and then we have address okay so these are say for example three mandatory fields that need to be entered by the customer who wants to register on the portal okay and based on the values that the customer will enter there will be appropriate success message or error message okay so here at the bottom i'll write success message okay so for example you want to test success message and error message that needs to appear in case of registration failed or successful then how you can basically get the complete coverage and make sure that you are you have tested all the error messages okay so that's where decision table or cause effect table comes in picture now in this particular table so mostly you will be using excel sheet to basically create this decision table um, you know decision table or any tool uh, like confluence uh, wherein you have the table and define these decision table right so now so for example what we'll do is we'll define divide this in columns okay and let's see how many so we have three inputs so we'll be having you know combination uh, eight combinations right so we'll have eight columns here okay all right so one two three four five six seven eight okay so now say for example the customer has provided the name so you can just put yes name is present email is present and address is present in registration in this particular case what should happen um, customer should get success message okay and whatever message so you can you know provide the actual message that needs to be displayed in this particular column okay and error message should not be displayed in this particular case because all the mandatory fields that are required have been provided by the customer and the registration should be successful okay now if say for example customer hasn't provided the name so put no there he has provided email he has provided 
address should he get success message no in this case it should fail so you put the uh, you know no in the success message there wouldn't be any success message at all and in the error message he should get an error message and you put the specific error message say for example name missing okay now this message the actual message which will come from the business requirement okay so whatever error message needs to be displayed in this particular case you will get it from the actual business analyst or whosoever will be providing you the requirement so you simply copy that you know error message here now name is present or say for example name is not present uh, email is not present and address is present okay then success message should not be displayed and error message should be displayed and what exact message should be displayed will be displayed here okay so in this case say for example name and email missing okay so whatever error message needs to be displayed in this case you just put it here similarly if nothing is entered at all so success message no error message yes and whatever error message needs to be, to be displayed name email and address is missing so if a customer hasn't provided any of these details and clicked on register button or sign up button he should get this particular error, me error message okay similarly if so for example name is there um, you know the email address is not there and address is there okay so no success message error message yes and whatever error message needs to be displayed then we have name um, then we don't have the email and we don't have the address so no success message error message and whatever error message needs to be displayed so you just continue this process unless you have covered all the error messages different error messages that need to be displayed to the customer okay so if say for example in this particular case there are different error messages that need to be displayed if any of the value is not present you put the specific error message in each of the case there okay now this is present this is present and address is not present so no error message uh, no success message error message and the exact error message all right then uh, what is left so we have so here we have uh, no and so name is missing and email is present and we have address present our address is missing okay so it covers so so for example this is the case then that particular case success message should not be displayed error message will be displayed and error message will display something email is missing okay so now if you see that in this particular case you know email is missing here you know we have say for example separate message for email and address is missing here address is missing and in this case if there are separate error messages that need to be displayed in each of these scenarios once the values are you know missing then you have this decision table available or cause effect table available and what you can simply do is you, these all become your tests so in this particular case what you can simply refer to this decision table you will enter name and email and address and verify that the registration is getting successful if it is getting successful no error message successful uh, you know uh, registration message then this test is passed this becomes your second test in this case you uh, make the name field as blank provide email and address and make sure that registration fails and you get the appropriate error message and this is what you keep continuing with this cause effect table or decision table to basically test different scenarios that are possible in this particular registration example okay so to 
create a decision table a decision table or cause effect table you simply have to get the details of what all rules are there so you put them into the rows and then based on those inputs if say for example first input is present second is not present third is not present based on those inputs you define what will be the what is the required output based on the requirement that is defined and once you define all these output uh, based on the requirement these are the tests that you need to perform to ensure that you are getting better and good coverage of the modules or the software that you are going to test all right so this is the simplest you know way to understand decision table testing or cause effect table testing and you can easily correlate this with other examples try to you know think of uh, other examples that you can think of google around and make sure that you understand decision table testing apply the same concept that i have explained here and make sure that you are you know uh, you understand this concept very well before you attempt or go for interview and this will help you a lot to crack the interview as well as basically you know when you get into the software testing you will be applying these techniques to actually test the software all right so that's all for this tutorial hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching